Dear students, I am Dr. Y.P. Agarwal, Professor Emitas, Kurukshetra University. The module which we are going to discuss now is on special use correlation techniques. The objectives of this module are to give an understanding of the following. The students will understand the rationale and calculation of bicycle correlation. The students will understand the rationale and calculation of point by serial correlation. The rationale and calculation of phi coefficient will also be discussed. In the previous two modules on correlational techniques, Pearson's product moment method and Spearman's rank difference method were introduced and the rationale and computational steps were explained. These two are the most used and popular in general research. However, some situations arise where the variables may be continuous and dichotomous. Hence, some special methods of correlation have been devised by the statisticians. The same are going to be explained in, the, in this module so that the student has a knowledge of the correlation techniques in all situations confronted by him. Now, first of all, we are going to discuss with you the biserial correlation. Some experiments require an estimate of the relationship between a continuous variable and a dichotomous variable. Term dichotomous means cut into two parts. The variable of special social adjustment can be dichotomized as socially adjusted subjects and socially maladjusted subjects. The two-fold classification may appear in the following examples. Passes and failures, dropouts and strains, successful and unsuccessful, etc. However, the essential assumption is that the variable underlying this dichotomy should be continuous and normal. It means that it should be based on artificial dichotomy, not on a natural dichotomy. The formula for the RBIS is RBIS equal to mp minus mq upon sigma times p times q upon y. Now, calculation of RBIS, in which RBIS stands for Bacerial R. mp and mq, these are mean test scores respectively for those who pass and fail the item. p and q are proportions who pass and fail the item. Y is the height of the ordinate of the normal curve, the point of division between P and Q proportions of cases, and sigma is the ST of the entire group. Now we have an example here. A rehearsal group and a non-rehearsal group obtained the following scores on their performance. Find out the correlation between rehearsal and performance in dramatization. The students, we have now table one which shows the worksheet for the calculation of RBIS. It has three columns. Column 1 shows the scores, and column 2 shows the number of the frequencies of the rehearsal group, and column 3 shows the number or the frequencies of the non-rehearsal group. And then we have the sums. The steps involved are like this. We calculate means of the two groups separately and combined and also calculate the SD of the total group. And these are given below. Rehearsal group 60.9, non-rehearsal group 59.5, total group 59.85, the SD of the total group is 17.63. Now we obtain P which is N1 upon N, that is 50 upon 200 is equal to 0.25. Q is straight away 1 minus P. That is 1 minus 0.25. That gives me 0.75. From table of ordinate of normal curve given in books, pick up the height of Y ordinate corresponding to the point of dichotomy of 0.25 and 0.75. In our example, it is 0.318. If we put in these values in the formula, we have R base is equal to 60.9 minus 59.5 
upon 17.63 times 0.25 times 0.75 upon 0.318 and the final value we get is 0.047. The correlation is negligible. For this, we have an alternative formula to calculate R bis. R bis is equal to MP minus M1 upon sigma times P upon Y. This is the alternative formula for calculating R bis. Now, the values of R bis may not always range between minus 1 and plus 1. In case of gross departure from normality, values of R bis greater than unity may occur. The students, we have now another different type of correlation technique. We call it point by serial correlation. In cases when test items are scored simply as 1, you correct and 0 if incorrect, that is right or wrong. The assumption of normality in the wrong right answers is generally not met. Other examples of genuine or natural dichotomies are male females, rural urban, living dead, convicted, not convicted, loyal, disloyal. In such cases, the point by serial correlation or RPBIS instead of RBIS can be used. Example, scores obtained by 11 students on the total test and item number 12 of the test are given in table 2. We have to calculate the item total correlation. The steps are as follows. We first calculate the following. Proportion of students who pass the item. That's P is equal to 6 upon 11. That's 0.55. Mx of students who pass the items. We calculate mean. This is 15 plus 15 plus 10 plus 15 plus 12 plus 16 divided by 6 and we get 13.67 as the mean of the students who pass the item. Table 2 shows the worksheet for the calculation of point by serial that's RPBIS. Now the column 1 shows the score on test that's criterion and column 2 shows item number 12 the scores on item number 12, which are 1 or 0. And the third column shows the x square. Now, we have the scores on the total test given in this first column, and the total up to 143. And we have the scores on the item, and they total up to 6. And then we have these x squares. These are the squares of the score on the total test they add up to 1899. Now we calculate the MX of students who fail the item. MQ is equal to 14 plus 13 plus 13 plus 10 plus 11. Whole divided by 5. That gives us 12.20 as the mean Q. Mean of the total is sigma X upon N. And the values are 143 divided by 11. That gives me 13.30. Now we calculate SD for the total group by the very normal formula. Now sigma is equal to 1 upon n times the whole under root n times sigma x square minus sigma x whole square. And further we have 1 upon 11 times under root 11 times 1899 minus 1 43 square and we get the final value as 1.91. The another step that we have to take is now using the formula to find out RP bis. That's MP minus MQ upon sigma t into PQ under root. And we have the values here 13.67 minus 12.20 upon 1.91 whole times 0.55 times 4.5 under root. The final value is 0.38. The point by serial is a product moment correlation. If we assign 1 to individuals in one category and 0 to individuals in the other category, 
The calculate product moment R. Result is a point by serial R. The above example, those who did item 12 correctly were assigned a Y score of 1. Those who did it incorrectly, a Y score of 0. Weights other than 1 and 0 can also be assigned. The point by serial R is especially useful in the analysis of items of a test. The relation between by serial and point by serial and correlation is given by the expression RBC is equal to R point base times PQ under root upon Y. The factor PQ upon Y varies from 1.25 and P is equal to Q is equal to 0.5 to 3.73 when P is equal to 0.99 and Q is equal to 0.01. Thus, R base is always greater than R point base and the difference increases with extremeness of the dichotomies. Dear students, we have another technique of correlation. We call it tetrachoric correlation. The by serial and point by serial correlations were used when one variable was continuous and expressed as test scores the other variable was dichotomous or in a two-fold classification. However, when both the variables are dichotomous, we cannot calculate by serial or point by serial correlation. For such situations, tetrachoric correlation can be calculated. Tetrachoric correlation is suitable for situations in which neither of the two variables can be measured in terms of scores, but both the variables can be separated in terms of categories. For example, if you wish to find out correlation between residence and punishment for indiscipline at school, we may dichotomize the variables as rural urban and punished and not punished. Some other examples are intelligence, above average and below average, social maturity, socially mature and socially immature, School attendance, graduates from high school and those who did not, not employment, presently employed and not employed. Tetrachoric correlation assumes that the two variables under study are essentially continuous and would be normally distributed if it were possible to obtain scores or exact measures of them. We have an example here. In a two by two table, the two fold Distribution of students on training and success is given below. Calculate tetrachoric correlation. Here is a table that shows the worksheet for the calculation of tetrachoric correlation. It is a 2 by 2 contingency table. On top are pass and fail. On the left side are trained and untrained. And the frequencies are given in the cells 20, 40, 15, and 22. The cells are marked as A, B, C, and D. The marginal totals have also been given as 60, 37, and bottom 35, 62 with a grand total of 97. Now we have other values that we have calculated. AD is equal to 20 times 22 as 440. BC is equal to 40 times 15 as 600. Now after doing this, we also classify into two categories, mark plus and minus. Entries in cell A are plus plus, entries in D are minus minus, so that concentration of frequencies into these two cells means close agreement, positive correlation. Other two cells are designated as B and C, which would be plus minus and minus plus, or in our example, trained, failed, untrained, passed. A generalized model of designating the cells is given below. We have the first contingency table showing which is we call X and we are showing plus minus. And on the left side we have Y variable we are showing plus and minus. And the signs in the four cells of the contingency table are plus plus, minus plus, plus minus and minus minus. Similarly, for the second variable, we have x on top and y on the left side. So we are having cell B plus plus, cell A minus plus, cell D plus minus, and cell C minus minus. 
Now the full equation for tetrachoric R is algebraically very complex and hence a simplified formula which gives good approximation to R tetrachoric is used. R tetrachoric is equal to cosine times 180 degrees times BC under root whole upon AD under root plus BC under root. This is an approximate formula for tetrachoric R. AD and BC are the products of the cells designated in the 2 by 2 table above and cosine is a trigonometric function whose value is available from tables. In our example, BC is greater than AD, hence AD is to be put in the numerator. Substituting the values in formula, we get R tetrachoric is equal to cosine 180 degrees times 440 under root upon 440 under root plus 600 under root. Then further calculations show cosine times 3775.71 upon 45.47. The final value is cosine 83 degrees. Now we convert the cosine 83 degrees into RT by consulting our table and we get the RT equal to minus 0.122. When the values of AD entries agreement is larger than the values of BC entries disagreement, the correlation is positive. In the reverse situation, the experimenter should fix a minus sign to the value of R tetrachoric. Dear students, I am going to explain to you another method of calculating correlation. The name of that method is the phi coefficient. When we have to find out correlation between two items of a test, the items are restricted to a scoring of 1 and 0, then we can calculate phi coefficient instead of product moment r. The data is arranged in a 2 by 2 table and the cells are marked as follows. Dear students, now take a look at this contingency table. And this is a 2 by 2 contingency table. And on top, we have fail and pass. That's item number 2. For item number 1, we have on the left side, pass and fail. And the cells are designated as B, A, D, and C. The marginal values show A plus B, C plus D, B plus D, and A plus C. Now, we designate them in terms of smaller letters because we are going to use proportions. Now, for item number 2, we have fail and pass. And for item number 1, again, we have pass and fail. And these cells are designated as small b, small a, small d, small c. And the marginally, we have P1, Q1, Q2, P2. And then the following formulas are used. Phi coefficient is equal to AD minus BC upon whole under root A plus B times C plus D times A plus C times B plus D. This is the formula for the phi coefficient. And then phi coefficient further, we can have P ij minus pi times pj upon whole number root pi pj qi qj. The symbols are as follows. pi stands for proportions passing item i, pj proportions passing item j, qi proportions filling item i, qj proportions filling item j. pij is equal to proportions passing both items i and j. The students, now I will explain the whole process with the help of an example. The number of candidates passing and failing two items are given below. Calculate a phi coefficient between the two items. Now, the contingency table shows item number one, fail and pass. And on the left side, we have, we have item number two, pass and fail. And the values are 65, 90, 80, and 30. And these are designated as cells as A, B, D, and C. 
And then we have the marginal totals, 155 A plus V, 110 C plus D, and the bottom marginal totals are 145, that's B plus D, 120 A plus C. By substituting the values in the formula, we get a phi coefficient. These are 90 times 80 minus 65 times 30 whole upon 155 times 110 times 145 times 120 whole under root, which gives me 7200 minus 1950 upon 17224.11. Finally, we get a value of 0 0.30. This is the value of the phi coefficient. Dear students, the phi coefficient has been widely used in statistical work associated with psychological tests. Usually when researchers speak of the correlation between the dichotomously scored test items, the reference is to the phi coefficient. The phi coefficient is a particular case of product moment correlation. When the integers 1 and 0 are assigned to represent the two categories of each variable, the values of high coefficient range between minus 1 and plus 1 and are influenced by the marginal totals. Negative and positive perfect correlation is obtained when the two variables are evenly divided. That is, pi is equal to qi is equal to pj is equal to qj. The students, in this module, we have described four different types of correlation techniques. The point by serial, by serial, tetrachoric contingency coefficient. These are used in very specific situations where we cannot use the other two very popular methods of correlation like the rank difference correlation and the Pearson product mount correlation. These are very useful in research, especially when we do the test construction and other type of work in our research. Thank you very much.